Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about how to load the case insensitive files using pattern matching in Snowflake by using the copy command. This is the 12th video from Snowflake data loading playlist. Loading case insensitive files using pattern matching. Generally, load files from stage into the table using pattern matching to load the data from compre compressed or uncompressed file in any path. Here is the example, copy command example and with pattern parameter. So here pattern is nothing but any regular expression, valid regular expression pattern. So this a regular expression pattern string enclosed in a enclosed in single quotes specifying the file names and R paths to match so you have to provide the re a valid regular expression and that string should be enclosed in single quotes where dot star if you see here dot star is the interpreted as zero or more occurrences of any character for example file name is dept so d d is the one character so dot star is the that one and the square brackets here we are using the square brackets okay so the square brackets escapes the period character that precedes a file extension generally in each file we have a extension in the extension star dot is there so as part of the regular expressions dot is the special special character so to escape that one we have to use the square brackets here what i am going to do here I am taking loading the data by using the copy command from internal stage name. Internal stage. So this is the stage name, my CSV stage, and case institute file names from stage. See, this is the one file, DEPT. Please note that here DEPT all small case. And this is the another file, D is the uppercase, remaining three characters, lower case. And this is the DEPT another file, third file, all caps and the fourth file is dept aaa -A -A. this is the file so our intention is when we run the copy command these three files should load and the these two files should not load because here if you see the file name the along with the dept we have some extra characters and similar way here this file fifth file only have three character okay dep it is not complete name so valid case the first three files should load and uh, table name is the DEPT. Let's see same in action. Yeah, so let me set the context info to current session. Here I am using the uh, account, uh, role is the account admin, database is demo DB, schema is public, warehouse is the SWS DB and the first step we need to create a file format you can ignore if you already created this one so yeah, file format my underscore CSV underscore file for, format successfully created next create the stage by using the above file format create or replace stage stage name file format So we have created a file format and stage. Let's see the file. Any files are present. Obviously, just now we have created this internal stage, so it should be empty. Okay, yeah, no files. Now these are the five files related to DEPT. So as you all know that we cannot execute the or run the put or get command from classic web interface so for that you need to use the snow sql cli command so this is the i already connected and i set the uh, context info from this one just you need to paste the all five files uh, okay just press enter 
so now five files have been moved to the internal stage now let me go back to here and uh, this is the okay before going to uh, you know load the file let me create the table create or replay as dept table uh, sorry here we have to select because these are the invalid commands that's why so let me select this one so table dept successfully created now let me see the uh, list all the files are available in stage these are the five files available in the internal stage now i am going to load the by using the pattern matching in case so this is the you know, command you have to use the okay within the parenthesis you have to use the question mark i so ignore case sense and this is the dept you can put any case and this is this underscore because we have we are using the uh, date time date uh, okay along with it uh, you know file name why i use the i mean you cannot create a file name with uppercase or lowercase in the windows environment that's why i concatenate file name to differentiate the files distinct file name okay so this is the csv and gz zip when you upload the file into internal stage so uh, without i mean by default it will compress so now let me run the copy command so here loading started Fifteen. Yeah. So, out of five files, please note that here only three files got loaded. This is the file dept, and this is the upper. I mean, first character uppercase, and these are the all uppercase file name. So, remaining two files didn't load because that file name is different because. as part of the our copy command we have mentioned only dept please note that even this command will even if you specify the all okay, caps also no issue so let me use that one let me do force is equal to true because you know why i am using the force in, so I, we already just now loaded the files again if you run the copy command okay uh, it won't load so for that i am doing the force okay or either you have to truncate the table so here i am loading again now see files loaded three files okay see so if you use this one question mark i okay that means case insensitive this is about now let me show you the data from department table so two times i loaded with the three files see it doesn't matter what is the data inside but how to here ignore case case insensed case sensed so now what i am going to do you can do alter alternative but here you have to use the this pattern so for each character you have to do like this so this is the lengthy process okay now, now, now let me do this one also zero files loaded dept force is equal to true dept yeah so here csv only so i have to use the gz because is a zip file so that's why okay yeah three files got loaded even you can load the case in two files like this see here this this means generally as part of the regular expressions okay we have a uh, you know a, a to a to g and upper case a to g that means any characters from a to z okay here so a b c d till g and a 
बी बी सी डी जी लाइक दैट सो एनी कैरेक्टर बिटवीन ए टू जेड वेदर इट इज अपर केस और लोअर केस दिस इज द मीनिंग बट हियर डी टू डी डी टू मीन्स ओनली दिस केस एदर डी डी लाइक दैट ओनली सो लाइक दैट सपोज इन अवर केस डिपार्टमेंट हैविंग four 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 characters in the dept file name so four characters this is the four character yeah, that's it for today if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click bell icon like it and share it to your friends thank you once again